Connor? Yeah? Can I just cut these little plugs off the end? Uh, can I just cut them off the end? Yeah, yeah, why? Because, well, I've just come and I thought, I thought, well, you know what? I was just saying to the lovely people, I bet these all clip together so you can go in sequence. You can't. Well, they don't. Oh, this way they don't. So don't play that up there. Winston, they even work any other way. Trust me. Not that oh, often. Oh, yeah, there's like. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just going to have to. I can cut them off and wire them together, can't I? Yeah. And yeah. Just go to one supply. Yeah. See? See? Not, not, not as green as I am. Can't be looking. Just, right. just make sure the. Uh, whichever electrical mating connection you use is uh, water tight. Mating connection? Mating connection. Technical words to that. Mating connection. Right then. So, there's only one rubber washer on this as well. So, inside, I'd say. In the oak. Inside. In which case, I'm going to put these where I can get my hand to comfortably. It's probably going to be about there, I think. I've got the other one inside the bag now. We get just about there. Mm. Don't know now. Does it matter if they're equally spread? I mean, they're light, isn't it? Light goes in all directions, doesn't it? And travels forever, doesn't it? Just keeps going. You can't stop light, can you? Does that mean it'll get full up with light and overflow? God, I ask some stupid questions. Anyway. So, if this is producing light all the time, and this is a dark box, and it keeps producing light, where does all that light go? Mm. There's a question for you clever people. Like, what happens to it? Because if that just keeps producing, does that not get over full with light? Leave a comment, let me know. I don't know. Light keeps going forever, I thought. Just keep, that's how we see a star from 64 million light years away, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to drill some holes. So, let's have a look what size would I need to go there. Next one up from that, I think. So, these ones won't be 18 mil, I think. Not now. Did I just... Yeah, you turned into Professor Brian Cox for about five minutes, then. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just like you waffling away about this, the, the travellings of light. Right, right, listen to this. Right. Oh, here we go, here we go. Story time with Graham. Right, so, when that turn that on that starts yeah. producing light yeah yeah and it keeps producing light until you turn it off yeah yeah and light just is there forever it just carries on right so if you shine this and it goes it goes forever doesn't it just keeps going as long as you've got it turned on right yes and no so if that's just left on all summer <laughs> well let's tank not overfill with light and light <laughs> how much light's too much light will it get too full I don't know. It's, it's a valid question. It's translucent though, so it's some, it of it, some of it will escape. It won't because I'm going to cover it. So there's no other light you can get in it. This will be the only light that's available to this water. And I'm just wondering where it overflows. I don't what know. are you going to cover it with? I don't know, yeah. Something that stops light. Oh. So something that's black, which absorbs light, so it will absorb the light from that. Sure. God, we're having fun there, weren't we? Pigs? <laughs> we were having fun till he came along, right? Anyway, forget that last question then, maybe. Forget that. <laughs> so Brian Cox over there has just explained to me. You can see why things take so long here, can't you? Right. <laughs> a build that should take a week. A job should take half an hour, takes three hours. Anyway, let's get back on with this. So where am I going to put these, these lights? Where shall I put them? I don't know now. I don't know where to put them in the top. I just shine it down into the light. But then they're more likely to get knocked as well, aren't they? I 
I'm going to put one in this end. Right. One in here. And... Just one here, I think. Oh, in the front. In the front, yeah. So again, if I need to get at it. sealant on the outside again the hole's just nice on it you know so what we'll do this time is we'll put the sealant on the tube on the fitting so we're not squeezing it in behind so a little bit just a little bit sweet one concentrating face then again I only want to go finger tight because they're only plastic, you know. Um, I don't want to have to go and spend another 25 quid on another one. So, just as tight as I can get it with my hand, really. Spear around on the ceiling. There you go. So that's one fitted. Where will I put the other one? Still undecided, really, if I'm being honest, Pete. Really, I'm still undecided. Um, but it is going to be limited as to where I can actually reach. So, let's take this jacket off. Mm. See how far I can reach that. I could probably reach down that far. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Go over here with it. I know you can't see what I'm doing there, but I'm just going to show the hole. Concentrating face on again, man. Tasty, guys. I wouldn't recommend having it for breakfast. I'm going to try and keep the inside as clean as I can, really, because obviously there's water going in there, you know, that we're going to be using for cooking and, and washing and stuff. So, Connor's just so happens to have a hoover in the back of his car. Don't ask. Right, don't ask. But he does, he has a hoover in the back of his car. So uh, rather than even using the horrible shitty workshop hoover, we have got one, but obviously it's used on the sandblaster and, the, and stuff. So um, rather than using that, we're going to have Connor's new... Look, he's got a lovely pink Henry. Just your colour, Graham. Don't even ask why. Just don't ask, right? It's just there's a pink Henry in shop. It's called Hattie, that one. Oh, Hattie, is it? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so. I'm going to tip that up and try and get all the bits and swore off and rubbish and stuff down. It's what meant. in there because you know how it gets like staticky but um i mean there's a filter on the pump so it should be okay anyway so. <laughs> 
and he smells nice, huh? to go in the trailer now, really. Well, I can't keep any excess dirt out of there, don't I? So this has got a vented lid on it, people, just in case you're interested. That's what the red bit is. So that when we pump the water out, the tank doesn't go <laughs> suck itself in. Um, right. So, we put that in there now. And because it's a bit tight, getting it in, Stick this on. Because it's a bit tight getting it in, I have to sort of like struggle it in and then put the foam in underneath. So it is a bit of a struggle to get it in. So don't laugh. Um, but I'd rather that it was snug, you know what I'm saying? Like all sloppy. But I'll do is I'll open the door so you can see part of what's going on. Let's just move this. Off. Didn't mean it right, I'm going to um, So it's going to go up there, against the bulkhead, and right at the front. Try and keep the weight at the front. Uh, not all the weight, but you know, some of the weight at the front. Um, to hopefully balance the trailer a bit better. So, let me see if I can get that in there now. My eyes off. Let's see if we can manipulate. It's a good word, manipulate this into place. I better explain to you people what I mean by me and Connor having a late night last night. You get the camera? Yeah, I'll show you. But what I do is I try and get Connor to put a little bit of an insert in here, because I did do a little big number thing on my phone when we were there. Remember he got the green turd? Connor and I thought last week, I know what we'll do. We've never actually been to Prickly, although we've spoke to lots of people that have been there. We spoke to the people that run it. Um, so we thought, be a good idea, let's go to Frickley and have a look. There was only Connor and I available. So we went with Dora and the Green Turd. <laughs> it was quite eventful. So we had a two hour drive to get there. Um, I think we were uh, on the pay and play side. What would you say, Connor? 10 minutes, 15 minutes? If that. Now we were told by, by Malk, how are you Malk, if you're watching? We were told by Malk, if you go down that way, that's wet and that's quite extreme down there. Somebody, not me, not me peeps, somebody, the guy behind the camera, wasn't listening. Or well, apparently said, oh, I didn't hear that. I was having a wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd said to Connor, you lead, that way if you get stuck, I can pull it out. I think maybe at this point here is where we need to put that bit of an insert in of me doing a walk around of, of what happened. But last night, anyway, what happened is it, 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 it shit itself. There's no other way of putting it really, right? So we ended up, Luckily, the them guys over at Darkside, Darkside Developments, thank you again, Rob. Uh, Rob came to the rescue. We weren't very far from his place, so uh, he allowed us to, to, to limp the green turd round there and left it with many trays underneath to catch all the fluids and anything else that, that happened to come out of it. So last night, Connor and I, went, we went to go and pick it up. I oh, know, we'll, we'll nip over and get that. I don't know, oh, it's only a couple of hours drive. Oh dear, people, oh dear. So, first thing we get there, Connor hasn't got his keys. Ah, oh, we'll hotwire it, we'll hotwire it. Didn't matter about the keys, peeps, because the start motor's knackered, so I wouldn't start anyway. 
no. So we pushed and we pulled and we pushed and we pulled and we dragged. And eventually, thanks again, Rob and the boys, we got it off the drive and then Connor and I got it up onto the trailer. Over here, come and have a look. I don't know whether he's done anything with the inside of it. No. I know he's taken all his tools out. You see there's a jet washer out just there, next to the tripod. That wasn't for jet washing cars. That's for jet washing his tools, his boots, and anything else that was in the cab. Come with me, come and have a look at this. It doesn't look so bad from out here, does it, Pete? Huge drying on the bonnet. It just looks quite normal from here. Now, here's the first telltale sign. That's on the inside, people. That doesn't come off. That's a tide mark on the inside of this car. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, my God. Have a quick look over there. So there's the center console. There's the tide mark on the gear gator. This thing, trust me, people, this thing was up to here. There's the mark. It was up to here with everything floating. <laughs> It's fags, it's lighter, it's boots, <laughs> and anything that didn't float, well, you can imagine. Down there, down there, wasn't a good day. Anyway, never mind, because what that's prompted him to do, right, that's prompted him to do, come with me, come with me. Something you'll all been going on about quite some time. We've got something in here. Oh, excuse the lights. I don't know whether the lights are good with this camera, but look. Look who's in the workshop, people. Look. I come round here. This is some serious work going on. Oh, look at this. Lucy's only had all new ball joints. Ball joints, both sides. All done. Track red ends. All round. All done. New hub. All done. Hey, she's going to be like a new girl. And there's more work getting done this weekend. There's more work getting done. See that horrible road sign? That horrible road sign won't be there after this weekend, peeps. Lucy's coming back. Lucy's coming back, so keep an eye out for this. <laughs> Bits of shit falling off it. <laughs> keep an eye out for this one, because she's coming back out. We're going to get her back out there. It's very nearly camping season. As you know, we're going to get on with the trailer. So anyway, I, I, I've done it again, haven't I? I've done it again. Digress. I'm supposed to be doing the camping trailer. So I think Connor maybe, I don't know, whether he'll put this in here or whether he'll might do a separate video. crop it and put it somewhere else. Because Rob is going to send me the CCTV of us trying to get the green oh, turd off the drive. We'll have CCTV. Oh my. Ring cameras and things, please. Right, so anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a cup of tea in the fag now. Uh, and we'll pick up on that. I've done that. Hey, that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? I'll see you shortly. Oh, Connor! Oh, Connor!